Hi YouTube and welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. This game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So let's try uh, Donut Secret 2 and not horribly fail. Gotta kill, I mean gotta get this and it's just a bunch of coins, I really don't care. I'm getting tired of collecting these coins anyway. So I'm thinking of doing a... Wow. Stupid Koopa. Anyways, I was thinking about doing a new intro. Yeah, and oh my god, I always press that button. Dump button. I wish it wasn't there, like, it's just a pain. And ooh, viney. Let's go up here. I think this is a mushroom. I don't know, I haven't played for a few days. I can't remember. And this ground is icy. No, never mind, it's a Starman. Starman, go. Kill one of those spiny tops. Hoppity hop hop, hoppity hop hop. Look at Mario go. I really love the background for this place though, but it's not the uh, easiest level, and these pipes are actually slippery, so... Frag! Ah, uh, yeah, as I was talking about being slippery, I hope the whole video isn't me losing here, because that would honestly really suck. Okay, we got the Yoshi coin, go up here, I'll get the invincibility, Starman again, collect another Yoshi coin. This level actually isn't very long. It's a very short level. See, like three Yoshi coins within five seconds of the level. There's fourth Yoshi coin. And I fell down the hole. Really? Man, I'm gonna name this video like Epic Icy Fails. I have no clue what I'm actually gonna name it. I like to come up with cool names. Like Nether Tether Game Babble. That was like my most controversial freaking episode ever of uh, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus so far. I've only uploaded six parts. Wait, six or seven parts. Whatever part the silver cup was, and then I haven't uploaded in forever. I have it all recorded. I just get bored of uploading because the videos are like 20 to 30 minutes long, and it just, frick, the upload time is ridiculous. Because I live in Cold Lake and the internet sucks here. Like, it's bad, and, ooh, it can go in this pipe. Oh no, not the, is this the people in part? <laughs> yeah. Collecting coins, doo doo. The only thing I hate about the people in is you move so slow, but there's a lot of things you can get using it. And, you know, it's. I think this is the only game that has the pee balloon. I wonder how much of the level I actually skipped, and why am I outside all of a sudden? Like, this entire home world is like a cave, and uh oh. Oh god, it's gonna kill me, it's gonna kill me, man. Spin jumps. Oh man, it's just spin jump there. Okay. Gotta take this easy. Okay, there's a ton of Koopas here. I think I can get a life here. Let's do this. Yay, one up and woohoo! Finally, we're out of this end. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We also get a bonus game. So, I found out a problem with this. Sometimes the Wii resets and um, you lose all your lives and stuff, but the game's still saved. So, um... If that ever happens where I'm like at 27 lives now and then I'm down to like 5 lives. Yeah, it's because um, I didn't quit in the middle of a, a place where it doesn't save. But if you beat a fortress or a castle and you shut the game off, it'll start where it saved. So, yeah. So the save state is better because you keep all your stuff. While the game saving is worse because you lose all your stuff. And finally, we're done. We can finally continue on to, what, Morton's castle? Because Morton is so powerful, and his... Actually, his castle's pretty easy, too. Man, I, I remember as a kid, I was never really able to spin jump at the same time as I, uh... Could run, and it was like, oh, man. Because spin jumping is such a good, uh, pa Move to use. Jeez, that mushroom is completely pointless. I guess it did save me from dying. Like, I never knew you could spin jump on, uh, Thwomps. So then I was always like, yo, Thwomp smash, ugh, I'm dead. Or wait for him to move, when you can actually just ride him. The only way to kill Dry Bones, though, is with a feather, and I think we actually find a feather in this room. Now, I can never find the midway tape in this level, or... I think this is the level I can't find it in. It might be the next castle, or fortress. I'm not 100% sure. I think this is part three too. Hope I didn't get that wrong. It's been forever, like I said. It's like I already have all that spiral stuff recorded, but I haven't actually uploaded any of it yet. I still I have like 
three Let's Plays on the go, God of War, Ratchet, and this. I'm not including just basic Ratchet and Clank, um, simply for the reason that it is a long Let's Play, and it's my side Let's Play anyway. I f don't feel like focusing on it. I get bored way too fast. Anyway, I, I, I prefer Nintendo for Let's Plays. I prefer those games for trophy hunting for PlayStation. Hopefully that Koopa doesn't hurt me. Okay, good, he didn't. Now we gotta wait for this wall to come out again. This is a very time-consuming level. It's not hard, it just takes a while to beat. Still, I think my favorite world in all of this game is uh, probably Forest of Illusion. Just because it- Frick, he caught me again, really? He can, I keep taking stupid hits and there's no mushroom, really? Uh, but yeah, I really like Forest of Illusion. It has like I swear there's a secret exit in every level. And wow, that block does save you a little bit. Can I make that? Yes. Yeah. See, I couldn't find the midway tape. I think I always miss it. I think there's one here at least. Anyway, boss battle. Oh yeah, I remember the first episode? I think it was when I defeated Iggy. I said that the second boss is even easier. Yeah, to die here is pretty much next to impossible if you just don't stand still under him, which I don't know why you would. And he just does this. He doesn't really get that much faster. He gets like, what, a second faster, if that? Ta-da! We beat it, and I'm not gonna end the video here, obviously. A six minute video for a Mario game? Well, what's the point of that? Clear two levels and I'm done? No way, Jose Garces. Okay, so we rescue- why are they all yellow? Thank you! Morton Koopa Jr. of Castle Number 2 is now just a memory. The next uh, area, the van underground vanilla dome. What traps await Mario in this new world? What will become a Princess Toadstool? And I forgot, is in the next area. The next area is the vanilla dome. Underground vanilla dome. Blah. Okay, anyways, on to vanilla dome 1. Oh no, more cave level. Oh yeah, this is the cave world. I think this is this too is the only uh, um Mario game not to have a desert. I still don't think it has a desert. Someone can correct me on that, then uh, let me know because I don't think there's one. There's a forest. There's like a weird bonus water world. Um, I forget where you actually... Oh, there's something. I think it's a life. Nope, never mind. It's a feather. We need that, actually. But what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, there's no desert. At least I don't think so. Now, there's mountains. There's an island. There's plains. There's a cave. There's a forest. There's Bowser's world. I think I covered them all. I don't even think there's a cloud world, because remember, this isn't uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, per se. Like, you know, your typical one. Okay, yeah, now, see, uh, there's a secret exit up. Holy jeez, I jumped right into that. But there's a secret exit up there, but we... You can get it with the feather, but I don't think I'm going to come back and get the feather just to get that. Uh, the Red Switch Palace is in this world. And we, if we have time, we'll actually get it in this video. And we gotta run across the sinking sand. Oh no, we're not gonna make it. Did you know invincibility is actually can't save you from uh, lava? Lava is the only thing that can still kill you as an invincible Mario. Oh, this is part of the level, eh? Never hold those guys too long because they'll just freaking come out of the shell and kill you. I don't think you can fit in there as Big Mario. No, you can't. Who was close? Really? I misjudged that by so much. Hey, Buzzy. Hey, Piranha. Oh my lord. Jeez, I keep timing my jumps terribly. I'm sorry, guys. We should just call this Death of Rama. I thought it would go up the hill. Oh, Mario, you suck. Please say I got the midway tape. Oh, okay, you start in front of it. I'm like, I can't remember if I did or not, even though I'm here. Okay, these coins look at me. I'm still at 27 lives. I swear when I first looked at my lives, it was at 27. Yay, now I can take the shortcut. Fuzzy Beetle. Mushroom. 
Now let's not hit the freaking piranha plant, and then let's not die by shooting a buzzy beetle at ourselves. Oh no, not another buzzy beetle. And I get hit by that buzzy beetle too. Ay, ay, ay. Oh no. Oh, I think if you eat that, there's something actually Yoshi can get. I think it's like a 3 up or something. And, because blue shells make Yoshi fly. They're like the rare shell. Yellow make him stomp. Red make him breathe fire. Green just spit out. I think I covered them all. Ooh, we have Vanilla Dome 2. This is actually a pretty cool one because it's like partially underwater. It's like a water... Yeah, it's a water cave, like... But it's not fully underwater like a lot of levels are. I think games are creative when they do levels like this. And I don't want to get hit by a stupid cheap cheap. It's not even a cheap cheap, is it? Aw, oh, but I think I remember where to get the secret exit in this level. I don't know if I went over it, but the levels with the red dots, like the instead of the yellow dots, are secret exits. While the yellow ones are just regular levels. And wow, I killed that fish. That was that was a pretty good shot. I didn't ouch, I didn't even mean to. Just smacked my head off the table. Or I mean on my table, I'm sitting on my desk. Duh. I hit it on the desk. I don't know, I'm just having a f a doodle day today. Work was extremely long and tomorrow I'm supposed to clean the lobby out there and it's like what the frick? Really? You can't even give me a real job. Yeah, don't hit this P-switch until you clear those coins, because then you'll get locked in. And just keep going. Wait, 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 wait. Nah, it is this one. And if you want to collect all the Yoshi coins, you have to go the secret way first. Really, man? I get hit? Of course I do. Just don't get hit again. Just don't get hit again. Just don't get hit again. Oh, well. Secret exit was found. And ta-da! Red Switch Palace. Oh, no, not this one. Okay. You gotta hit this. Avoid him for a minute. And then let him take out all these Koopas. Now what you have to do is you have to keep them in between those gold coins. The only problem is, is you could die by falling on the shell. Anyways, kaboom! Yeah. We did it, folks. We did it. We finally got the red switch bells because we are awesome. Yeah, I know, game. Just continue, please. We got the red switch bells. So, anyways, I think the video is a good enough length. So, in the next episode, we will take the find the regular exit for Vanilla Dome 2 and also get the secret exit in Vanilla Dome 1. Peace, guys.